I think he got robbed. I mean, the, the commentators were trying very hard not to say he got robbed. Yeah. At bat, you know, guys like that. Happens right. all but, uh, the time in boxing. It happens all, but it happens in the UFC too. Yeah, but boxing, I mean, they have, it's worse there, right? It did. We did to see maybe even better. But I think in the long run, it was more of a negative to Deb Haney, who might not have a long career. Those uh, three, three, three pounds overweight it made a huge yeah, difference. You could just tell. I mean, he was just a bigger guy. Yeah, much bigger guy. And, um, you know, you, might, you have to make a decision. You know, Bill and Devin, if you want to continue with the fight, they chose to continue with the fight. And, um, you know, it was, a big, it was a big penalty to take in the ring, but take nothing away from Ryan. Looked very strong in there tonight. The boxing world is still in shock following Devin Haney, the undefeated in a bout that many anticipated would cement Haney's reign against lightweight champion and flashy challenger Ryan Garcia. A stunning upset occurred that left viewers and commentators stunned. At the center of the post-fight analysis, Storm stood Joe Rogan, who was always vocal and prepared to break down the night's events. Wonderful, just wonderful, Rogan remarked as he leaned back in his chair to begin his podcast. This fight was everything we could have imagined and more. Garcia looked like a man possessed in there and went into a breakdown of the fight, highlighting the important moments. Before Rogan rewound the fight footage, he showed Garcia's relentless pressure and surprising ability to withstand Haney's counterpunches. At this point, Rogan pointed out that Garcia throws a three-punch combination and gets tagged by Haney's counter, but he just eats it and keeps coming forward. That's the heart of a champion right there. He then changed gears and began a breakdown of the fight itself. Rogan emphasized Garcia's unwavering push and newly discovered defensive consciousness Garcia appeared to be a totally different fighter. Instead of merely hurling wild haymakers, he was now skillfully selecting his shots with his footwork. It was a masterclass in restrained intensity. The film was rewinded by Rogan to the exact time when Garcia's devastating left hook in the sixth round sent Haney falling to the mat. Rogan said in a tone tinged with incredulity that this was the turning point. After that, Haney never really recovered. You could feel the anxiety and mistrust in his body language. The discussion then took a more sinister turn as Rogan talked about the possible consequences of the altercation. The possibility that Haney attempted to buy his way out if these rumors are accurate casts a shadow over his prior successes and tarnishes all of his accomplishments. Rogan continued by expressing his disgust in Haney, saying that even if the young man has all the potential in the world and is fast and technically proficient, he doesn't deserve to be a champion if he is turning to this kind of behavior. Following Rogan's podcast, fans were divided on social media. Some fiercely defended Haney, calling the rumors baseless speculation. Others echoed Rogan's concerns, demanding an extensive investigation into the alleged pre-fight manipulation. Even Devin Haney addressed the controversy on social media. I comprehend the inquiries he penned in a well-crafted statement, but let me be clear. I went into the fight with the complete intention of winning, plain and simple. I was defeated that night by a stronger fighter. Nevertheless, the statement allayed suspicions, and his lack of conviction in his remarks only fanned the flames. Uh, he took the punishment, so to me it's more of a detrimental to him than, than, than actually um, bad for mine. I think uh, uh, jumping into a rematch. I think of, the referee is very brave. Yeah, the referee kind of, you know. With, with someone else's life, but mm -hmm. it ain't his. He fight full of drama. Uh, you, know, you have to give a huge amount of respect to Ryan Garcia because I thought he fought a great fight. It looked like a middleweight in there tonight. Little it did look really big. Massive. And um, I thought Devin boxed really poor. But he got hurt in the first round. I don't know whether he, you know, how quickly he recovered, but then I had him winning like two. It's probably a controversial thing, and I guess I'm on Devin's side. I actually scored the fight a draw. You scored it a draw, really? I gave him the last round for it to be a draw. I don't think you could have ever given him the fight at all. The aftermath of the recent lightweight showdown between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney has left the world of boxing in shock. What was anticipated to be a closely contested battle between two rising stars turned into a one-sided affair, with Garcia emerging victorious. However, the drama didn't end with the final bell. Fueling the fire were Garcia's explosive accusations against Haney. Following Joe Rogan's critical assessment of Haney's performance and swirling rumors of pre-fight manipulation, in a series of interviews and social media posts, Garcia unleashed a verbal onslaught, alleging that Haney attempted to sabotage the fight but failed miserably. Let's be honest here, 
Garcia stated with a hint of anger, there's no way Divin came into this fight with his head in the game. He looked scared, hesitant, like he was fighting underwater. Garcia further speculated that Haney may have tried to take it easy in the early rounds to steal a decision on the judges' scorecards. These comments sent shockwaves through the boxing community, prompting debate over whether Garcia was simply capitalizing on his victory or if there was truth to his claims. While some fans rallied behind Garcia, others remained skeptical, suggesting that Haney was simply outclassed by a motivated opponent. Haney vehemently denied Garcia's accusations, emphasizing his respect for Garcia as a fighter and dismissing the claims of sabotage as ridiculous. Despite his denials, doubts lingered, fueling a media frenzy and calls for transparency in the sport. The back and forth between Garcia and Haney dominated headlines, overshadowing talk of a potential rematch. While no official investigation materialized, the controversy served as a reminder of the dark side of boxing, where whispers of corruption can tarnish even the most remarkable victories. As time passed, the controversy slowly simmered down, leaving the question of sabotage unanswered. However, the episode ensured that the Garcia-Haney fight would be remembered, not just for the action in the ring, but also for the drama that unfolded outside of it. It was a wild lead up to the fight. Yeah. Is there any sense of relief having such a decisive win? Well, yeah, I mean, it's like you beat the dream. Everybody call him the dream, pound for pound, on the top two or the top three, fuck you. Good and morning, salam alaikum, alhamdulillah. We outside and when we winning, and we outside in defeat. I did always say that I believe that Ryan Garcia was a good fighter. We were 3-3 three, three with him. He fooled you guys into thinking that he was crazy. I knew that he wasn't crazy, um, you know. So it was, a, it was a good fight, but but you know we got to take him, take it, taking his stride. Definitely want a rematch, and I love him to death. I'll continue to go and bat for him. I'll continue to stay outside. You know what I mean? We didn't just start this journey uh, uh, when we started boxing. You know. The echoes of the intense lightweight showdown between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney have barely faded, yet the boxing world is already abuzz with speculation about what lies ahead. Garcia's commanding victory, coupled with his explosive allegations of pre-fight manipulation by Haney, has stirred a whirlwind of uncertainty. Questions loom over the future of Devin Haney amidst rumors of sabotage. The potential ramifications are grave. If investigations validate Garcia's claims, Haney could face a lifetime ban from boxing. Veteran boxing journalist Bernard Fernandez grimly remarked, it would be a stain on Haney's legacy, one he might never recover from. Nevertheless, Haney vehemently asserts his innocence, launching a vigorous PR campaign to clear his name. These accusations are baseless, he declared during a press conference, reaffirming his respect for Garcia's victory and his commitment to the integrity of the sport. As pressure mounts on boxing commissions to conduct thorough investigations, fans clamor for answers and sponsors express unease. The sport's reputation hinges on a transparent and decisive response. Meanwhile, Garcia revels in the aftermath of his triumph, emerging as a media favorite with his charisma and sharp rhetoric. Yet, his focus remains fixed on one thing, a rematch with Haney. The first fight was just the beginning, he asserted, vowing to settle the score definitively. The prospect of a rematch between Garcia and Haney ignites excitement, though boxing purists are divided. While some advocate for a rematch to ascertain Haney's true fighting spirit, others argue that Garcia's dominance in the initial bout renders it unnecessary. Joe Rogan, the outspoken fight commentator, weighed in, deeming a rematch intriguing but contingent on the investigation's outcome. Until then, suspense grips the boxing world as questions linger over Haney's career and Garcia's ascension. Regardless of the eventual verdict, the lightweight division pulses with anticipation. Garcia's meteoric rise and the controversy surrounding Haney weave a captivating narrative. Whether the rematch serves as a battle for redemption or a coronation, it promises fireworks and stands as one of the most anticipated fights of the year.